Hi, let's create some iridescent materials and this is what we're aiming for and this is the material in its easiest node setup. So before we get started, make sure that you have a node wrangler activated. So we can start out with Suzanne, we can select her and then we press new and we can start out with a color ramp. Put it here and take the color into the base color and right now it's just black and white. So we need to change this, so we take the RGB and change it to HSL and change the near to far. Then we can take the white and change this into a yellow. Then we can take the black and we can change this also into a yellow. And now we have a full spectrum. Uh, we also need to change the metallic to 0.9 and we want to change the roughness to 0.1. Great. Right now it's just blue, so we need to change this. So we need to add a layer weight material. And we take the facing into the factor of the color ramp. And it looks kind of good right away. And we can call this material for Susie. If you now take the ball and we change its material to Susie. I think it looks a little bit too perfect. We need to change something here. So let's just duplicate the material and call it all. And to fix this, I think we should add a tangent shader. So let me change this to Y. And we need a matte shader. Combine the tangent and the layer weight. So we take the tangent into the top and we take the facing into the lower one. And now we want to add a hue saturation value and we take the value into the hue and we want the color to change it to some kind of light blue and we want to combine the hue saturation with the color ramp so let's just select this one and press ctrl shift and right click and drag over the other one and then we get the mix shader and right now i think it looks a little bit colorless so let's just check what's wrong so Factor at one, it's only color ramp, and if we take the factor to zero, it's only this one. So what we need to do is to bump up the saturation. We can take it all the way up and the value to two, and now it looks much better. And if you now set the factor maybe to 0.6 or something, I think it looks really good. Great. Okay, so next up is the cube. So we can take the ball material and we can duplicate it and call it cube. And right now not much is happening except this this cd disk pattern i want it to happen more with this cube it should have more iridescent colors so to solve this we need to add a wave texture we can put it here and we can uh, actually remove the lay weight from this one for now and we change this to rings and we want it to be signed great and we can change the value of this to uh, 0.1 the details to 15 the details scale to be 22 and the details roughness to 1 and i also want to add a noise texture to this one and we can take the factor into the vector for this noise texture we want to change this to 1 the details to 0 and the uh, roughness to zero and the, the lucranacy to uh, 38 and the distortion to minus 1.2 I think look good and if you look up on the face offset you can see if you change this one stuff starting to move and this is what we want to do so let's take the facing and drag it into the face offset and right now it moves a little bit but what but we want it to move more so to achieve this we can add a map range here and we can change the values to uh, 0.6 and minus 5 and to max 5 and if you now try it out not much is happening and this is because we need to unclamp it and now it looks like a really interesting material okay great and next thing we want to do is to add this cd reflection pattern to all the sides 
And to do this, we can just drag them over here and press uh, Shift D, Shift D. And we can take this value in, into this value and this value into this value. And then the last value we can drag into the hue. And we can change this to Z, Y, and X. Like that. Great. But I want to be able to control this uh, more because I, right now I think it's too much color. And if I change this to something else, I can never get it to be grayscale. So we need to fix this. And we actually have a node that's called RGB to black and white. So we take this one and we can put it here. But then I also want to control it. So we need another mixed shader. So we can just duplicate this one and put it here. And we can take this color into the B color. Now we can just control how much color it should be should be black and white from from this or if it should be all of the colors so now we have a little more control so that's for the cube right and for our final steps we want to make a super cool collector's card ace and i have already started out by um, just applying an image to the card uh, and what i want to do now is i think i want to use a lot of nodes from this cube so let's select it and we can select all of these actually control c select the a and then control v and we can just drag it down here and we cannot have two material outputs so we can just delete this one we just need to check that the material looks great for this one as well yeah it looks pretty good and we don't want all of this we only need one so we can just delete these four and take the value into the hue great and it looks great from the beginning so now we can just combine them so again we can select this one and press ctrl shift and right click and drag down and we get the mix shader so now we can decide how much we will see of the card or the effect or we can actually let the um, layer weight node control this for us so we can take the facing and drag this into the factor and right now it's not happening much so we need to control this so we can actually add a color ramp and put it here and if you look upon it from the side we can drag down this white until it's almost completely gone great and now if you look upon it from the front i want to see more of the effect and since it's black we cannot see anything of the effect so we need to change this black to something more light gray the more if it's completely white full effect or it's a bit gray just a little bit effect so something like this so it can really disappear in the right angle great and the last thing i want to do is just add a bump map so i get a cool effect here and i want to show you another trick how you can use the lay weight in a cool way so you can start out with a weight texture and we want a bump map and we can take the color into height and the normal into normal and i used to start out with full strength so i see what's happening and right now it's bands so we don't want that i want it to be rings and right now they are not centered we can select this and press ctrl t so and we get the mapping and texture coordinates great and we take the object into the vector and now it should be centered great and i want to change the sign to be saw instead because i think it's a cooler effect and again we have this face offset and if we change this you can see how the rings moves so we want to control this with the viewing angle so let's just take the facing into the face offset and we need another map range node so we can take this one shift d and drag it here and let's just change the values to uh, zero and we can keep the one and change to mine to zero and to max we can actually put this all the way up so we get some quick effects to 50 and if we now look upon the card we can see how the rings slightly moves and i think it looks pretty cool great so this is how you make a iridescent uh, material 
Thanks for watching, and if you like stuff like this, please like and subscribe. Bye.